Hi guys, so today I'm going to be swatching the Zoya Fleck Effect collection for you. Uh, starting out with this bluish turquoise one is called Maisie. The green is called Opal. And the pink is called Chloe. And if you're catching a glimpse and wondering what's on my nails, this is my Acid Leopard design. And I will include a link in the information box as well as an annotation as soon as I have this tutorial up. Um, this is kind of as much for my own curiosity as it is to show you guys. And to start out with, on the first nail wheel here, I have the colors from the True collection that I picked up. This green is Bevan. This blue is Skylar. Uh, this first purple is Lotus, and the darker purple is True. So I'm going to swatch each of the fleck effects over those colors, as well as by themselves. And I actually also have another nail wheel prepped here. I haven't quite decided, but I'm kind of leaning toward doing this one also. Um, here I have just Wet n Wild Black, uh, Wet n Wild White, this yellow is Zoya Pippa, this orange is China Glaze Free Love, and the pink is Orly Elspeth's Rose. And I picked those out just because the true colors are kind of so cool you know, blues and purples. I thought it might be nice to see them over some warm colors. But first thing first is that since they do have kind of a sheer but still colored base, is that these would be more successful than, for example, the finger paints special effects if you did want to wear them on their own. Um, you do need a couple coats to build up some color but as you can see there, the flakies can kind of stand up on their own. I mean, it's not going to be a real colorful effect. It's going to be more subtle. But if you are somebody that enjoys having a sheer polish, there's no reason that you can't wear these by themselves. So I'm just going to get a little bit more of opal on there. And get Chloe open and show you how that looks. Now I don't think the duochrome effect is going to come across real strongly on camera but all three of these are duochromes to some extent and I'll try to get some pictures and include those at the end that show a little bit of the different personalities that these colors can have at different angles. So now I'm going to go ahead and I actually think I'm just going to go ahead and swatch these and then speed the whole thing up and have my comments at the end. So I hope you guys just enjoy watching the sparklies. So here we are back at the first nail wheel with the swatches with no base color. 
and on these I find it pretty easy to tell the three apart but really in some of the other swatches Maisie and Opal have a very very similar effect especially straight on. Um, if you get into some kind of viewing it at an angle then the dual chromes do have a slightly different finish but as I turn here and you look at them over Bevan um, I mean all three actually look very similar over this one. The uh, tinted base kind of faintly changes the color of the base polish um, and you can see kind of the same effect here on Skylar although uh, Chloe is a little bit more noticeably different. They're all basically giving a very shimmery finish. Here you can see over Lotus and True um, let me do one at a time here. This one, again, you can really see a difference in Chloe, and I quite like how all three of them look over this color, but over True, which is a little darker, you get to see kind of even more of their different personalities. Um, let me grab the other nail wheel, and course with a black base is the easiest way to really see any dual chrome polish and the similarities between Maisie and Opal are very obvious here. Um, over white it's actually a little bit hard to see there. Does that make it a little easier for you guys? Um, over white again that tinted base comes out and you can kind of tell the difference between them and it's interesting how the flakies almost reflect you know an opposite color almost like they're not even their dual chrome color but a totally different color with white as the background um here over Pippa all three give a pretty subtle look Chloe is actually giving it a faint orange cast I'm not sure if that's coming across on camera then here over orange, um, Maisie and Opal actually are much more obvious than Chloe. You can barely see her right here. And finally over pink, where they all again kind of blend in. Um, I think between these two nail wheels that, I mean, I really did a pretty wide range of colors for all three of these polishes. Um, to be honest, while I love Zoya and they're definitely one of my favorite brands, um, on this one I don't know if it was really you know a battle but as far as comparisons go I would say that I actually prefer the Finger Paints Special Effects Collection but that is not as easy to find so if you are just needing some flakies in your life um, these are available on Zoya's website and you know they ship most places I'm not sure about internationally but you know a little bit easier to find than the special effects so if you picked these up let me know what you think of them if they are some of your favorites or if they were maybe a little disappointing for you. I would not say they were disappointing, just that um, the finger paint special effect really was surprisingly good. So, you know, they're really about equal. If you are a normal person, you probably don't need both sets. If you're a polish hoarder like me, then, you know, you're not going to regret having any of them. So... That's what I think of them. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned, like I mentioned, for this uh, Acid Leopard tutorial coming soon. Hi guys, so I have a little extra or a bonus or a PS or an epilogue, whatever you want to call it. Uh, long story short is that basically as soon as I finished recording, I thought of several other colors that I wanted to try swatching these flakies over. So I'm just going to quickly go over the colors on the nail wheel for those of you that are curious. Um, this first teal is Color Club Gossip Column. The next one is L'Oreal Marine Blue. 
and the third one is Milani Pool Party. And I'm going to be swatching Maisie on top of those. Um, I was basically kind of reminded of advice people gave for Enfuo Polish, which is to try and ma match the sheer base with whatever base color you have. Um, onto the greens, this darkest one is Nubar Greener. In the middle is Color Club What a Shock. And the third one is Claire's Green Neon. And I'll be swatching Opal on top of those. And then finally, I have a few pinks. The first one is La Positively Hot Matte. In the middle is Be a Dahlia, Won't You? And the lightest one is Pink of Hearts. And those three are all OPIs. So, um, also just to mention, as you see the flaky swatched here over black and over white, if you're curious why I had a darker background for the first half of the swatches, um, if I just kind of stick it in here you'll see that the dark base really pops with the dark background um, the white almost is kind of washed out but as I take that away you see it's almost the opposite the black gets washed out and the white you can more see the colors so I decided to go with a white background since some of my colors here are on the lighter side so I hope this all shows up okay on camera and I will include some pictures um, with better lighting either at the end of the video or in the blog post. So I'm just going to go ahead and like I did before, I'm going to apply these on here and then basically speed it up and give you guys um, my thoughts once I'm finished. Okay, so first we have Maisie over the three teals, and actually I'm going to try with my darker background, see if this shows up a little better for you guys. Um, I think out of these three, I like the first combination the best. Um, it's not exactly like the bottle color, but um, I think it's the closest. Next. We have opal over the three greens, and you can kind of see on that dark one there. You know, these are very tricky to film. See, those lighter ones show up better with the white background. I just can't decide which I like better. Um, for these, the two lighter greens were very close, um, but as far as being closest to the bottle color, I think I'm going to go with the middle one. And then with uh, Chloe over the pinks, see, this may need the darker background again. That shows a little better. I actually like all three of these, although none of them is really a match for the bottle color. I just, I couldn't really find a pink that shade in my collection um, I didn't want to spend all day digging through it. But, like I said, I just wanted to do some more swatching. And I know that while not all of you like seeing the swatches, that some of you are just like me and ever curious. I mean, I could sit around and do swatches all day, honestly, for my own curiosity. But I don't want to use up my whole bottle of polish. But at the same time... Um, if you can see here, the bottle is still practically full even after doing two plus nail wheels full of swatches. So it doesn't use up that much. And for me, it's really fun to see some of the different combinations. So I hope at least some of you guys enjoyed this. Um, once again, 
this will be coming soon. I got so many comments and requests for the tutorial. It is coming. And as always, thanks for watching.